634 right now with high inflation happening across the country. It can be very challenging for many families when it comes to buying groceries. Dallas Ontivera joins us live from the Hawaii Food Bank with more on how to donate and receive. Morning, Dallas. Good morning, Christine Ross. Yes, we are getting the answers with Amy Marvin, who is a president and CEO of the Hawaii Food Bank. Good morning. Aloha, Amy. Aloha. Nice to see you. Thanks for joining us here on Wake Up Today and answering all our questions. We appreciate your time. I'm really and, happy to have and you. And we notice your team is working very hard, too, getting this, uh, the day started. So let's go ahead and start with this question here. With high inflation happening now, what products are we seeing an increase in? So we're seeing an increase really across the board. Grocery prices have gone up about 12% in the last year. So that is a huge impact for folks. Some items like meat, poultry, eggs, and fish have actually gone up almost 30% since before the pandemic. Wow. Um, but again, we're seeing prices increase across the board. Rice, chili, almost, almost everything we buy. So how does the price increase trickle down to distributions? Does that limit the amount of supply on what a family can receive or even distribution sites? So we work really hard to be sure that the families get what they need. And we really think it's our kuleana to work with our network of partner agencies across the island to provide food so that people you know, don't go, high, bed, go, go to bed hungry at night. So um, sometimes we need to make choices about what kinds of proteins we provide, for instance. And we, all, you know, we are always looking to stretch a dollar. Um, every dollar that's donated to the food bank, we can provide food for over two meals. Um, so we are really looking to see, like, how do we stretch that dollar on behalf of those that we serve so that they're not affected? And how many meals do you all distribute in a day right now? We distribute, on average, about 42,000 meals per day through this warehouse right here. And as far as uh, the utility bills and the gas prices, how does that impact the family who's looking for some help when it comes to food? You know, it all it all comes together. So gas prices, we have seen this consistently over time. Every time the gas prices go up, so over five dollars seems to be a magic number. The um, the need rises, and we we see the lines the lines get longer. So you know, people need to make really hard choices. You know, do I pay my gas? Do I you know pay my utility bill? Can I put gas in my car? And we really want to be there to support folks so that they don't need to make choices about whether or not to feed their families. Yeah, I think a lot of us have been in that position where we have to make that choice. And as far as what we'll be talking about in the next hour when it comes to our cakey and providing the meals for the summer, can you give us some details? about some of the goals you all have. Yeah, sure. So, you know, Keiki are one of our most vulnerable populations. Right now, we have the second highest rate of child food insecurity in the country. And during the school year, many kids get their meals, healthy meals at school, breakfast and lunch, and that might be, you know, all that they get. So the summertime is especially difficult if they don't have access to healthy food. So we're partnering with with the city and county, the state, and a number of other nonprofits to, to try to be sure that kids have access to meals throughout the summer. And we'll get more into that in the next hour. Amy, thank you so much for joining us here on Wake Up Today. And if you want some more insight on what the Hawaii Food Bank is doing and the need that we're seeing, you can visit our website at khwin2.com. Reporting out here at the Hawaii Food Bank, Dallas Navarro's KH12 News, work for Hawaii. All right, very important discussion. Thank you so much, Dallas. Coming up next, we are working for Hawaii with another Live the Clear Roads and more of the sunshine and trades in your forecast. And many people enjoy the smells of a good barbecue while drinking.